Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Word Aaron. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a sequel for my Disney movie marathon. A little, a little update for you folks is that this will be my last movie review for this Disney Athon. This does not mean I'm going to stop talking about Disney entirely, of course. It's just like a small break or whatever. And I do plan to get into the whole another Disney Athon as soon as I can. I'll get to it as soon uh, when I, I guess, more in the mood for it. I was on Disney for quite some time already. So I just want to move on to, and talk about some other stuff as well. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to be reviewing a sequel. And that sequel is Frozen 2 on the combo pack. So yeah, it has the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital uh, download. So this is the one I'm going to be reviewing, the, this version of the film anyway. So, but the thing is... Um, if I'm going to be honest here, at first when they announced they're going to be uh, doing a sequel, my expectations weren't really that high, mainly because... Behold, folks. I actually really like this movie quite a lot. I've, I've just seen this movie twice in the movie theater and finally got myself a copy of it. I've watched it recently, so I figured I might as well review it. So, I guess, as usual, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So, let's get into it. Yes, sir. See that both sisters are playing with each other. In the snow, even though it's in their bedroom, I guess, but yeah, they're having some good quality time with each other. I'm guessing that's supposed to have happened before when Elsa had accidentally shot her ice power at Ona by accident, where they have to, you know, basically heal her up, of course. I wish the film would have addressed that, I guess, but. Oh, well, I mean, that, that wasn't really the point, I guess, to, to talk about the specific time, even though that's kind of what they were talking about. Anyway, their parents do eventually come in, and they have to basically give them a talk about the past. Yep, that's the whole point of this, to talk about the past, folks. They talk about when their father was much younger, he had went into this... Enchanted forest where they m met some native individuals and there's this bridge thing which will amount to something important in the story So it's not like some random plug-in or anything So anyway, yeah, think of it like an origin story in a way This was clearly on setup for what's gonna happen later But anyway fast forward some time Right this part actually made me laugh because it totally caught her off guard. Yeah, it, it maybe chuckle honestly, folks. The story does have some comedy in it. Yeah, we go to present time, Arendelle. So it's been like what about six years after the first film, and it looks like a lot of things has changed, which is a theme in this movie because nothing stays the same forever. It was actually a topic that Anna spoke about. With Olaf, I guess this can be a good way to teach kids that, well, the f the future isn't written, so you don't know what's going to happen exactly, so you have to be much more about it and accept responsibilities to what may happen. Good writing is like the most obvious thing you should do when it comes to movies, but that's the thing. It gets overlooked quite a bit, so I do appreciate the fact that this film does have good writing. 
So you want to talk about change. Of course, if you're close with somebody, you'd be close with your best friend, you'd be close with your loved one, family or whatever. But things will eventually happen, whether you like it or not, whether you prepare for it or not. Things like this will eventually happen. It, it That's life for you. So that's like the theme here in this film. So I do appreciate the fact that this film does address that. So, you know, point for that. Option for Spanish and French subtitles if you choose to do so. So the that's there. Also, there's deleted scenes, outtakes, deleted songs, music videos, and quite a few other things. And this, of course, is the extent, extended version. I've seen I've seen a lot of scenes in this film in the Blu-ray version that you will see that were extended entirely by bit by bit. Or just in, or just added to the length. Yeah, there's some deleted scenes that were in the film, so that's a good thing I believe so, folks. And he has the DVD and Blu-ray copy of obviously, which I think is great. So overall, definitely a great purchase, I would say, folks. And am I getting it? So I do recommend anybody getting this. So overall, a really good movie, I would say. Good sound quality and good picture quality. That's definitely a good thing, folks. Though I feel like I did overpay this. And that's by means not a stab towards the movie. I'm not making fun of this movie or anything, but but you know, Efrus and I we uh we went to Amazon. Like I know I did a update video. Uh yeah, like an up unboxing video recently where I got this from Amazon. I paid nearly fifty bucks for this thing. And but later on to discover you could go to Walmart or Best Buy or Target or whatever and get it for what twenty two dollars? Ah, yeah. Oops. And by the way, folks. By the way, for anyone that's uh, for anyone that's watching this, you can get this along with the first one in a double pack on Blu-ray. It's out there. So it's a double pack out there with both films together in one pack that has a Blu-ray and DVD copies. Of both of them, just so you know. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, folks. And I will put a link down below if anyone wants to order a copy for this item for themselves, just so you know. And one thing I would definitely make a comment is that this part where they're actually trying to play a game with each other. So it gives you the sense that they view each other's family, even though not everyone is like blood related, really. So that's pretty cool. They're trying to give you a sense of unity. I guess, which goes into good writing in this film. Yeah, I do like I do appreciate the fact that the film never spoons feed you the information. It uses its visuals to tell the story. So I guess that does make sense because regarding the fact that film is a visual medium, so of course it's gonna use the visuals as a way to tell the story. This seems like bloody obvious, but again, I do have to explain how amateur people can really be and not use this to their advantage. It can be the part of the film where things really start to get going. Uh, Elsa does hear this voice that's in her head. Obviously, Anna, the younger sister, realizes there's something wrong with, with Elsa. Something don't seem quite right. And yes, by the way, folks, this film does confirm that these two people are supposed to be sisters. But more on that in a moment. So, what I'm going to say is that... And this also does part of the story where... Kristoff... Really attempts to... Uh, propose to Anna, but does it in a awkward sort of way. But the film, even though in some ways it, it's kind of a tendency of joke to some degree, but at the same time... It's one point out how much of a character he is, really, because he's not used to having relationships. It really shows that, like in the film, it's been consistent with the first movie where Chris, yeah, Kristoff, he's been living his life with so many reindeers, like again, like he was in the first movie, and it really, really, really shows in this movie. So, if anything, Frozen Two expands upon the relationship. And really shows that Kristoff, yeah, he's not good at all with human interactions. Not he's he's awful with it. 
So that's something he has to cope with and improve on himself. So yeah. But anyway, like I was saying, with the whole voice thing, sort from getting to sleep. So of course it does cause him some stress. There's something, and it, of course it connects to the whole mysterious enchanted forest that the fathers spoke about. As I said earlier, the whole thing with the enchanted forest and the natives is not just some random plug-in that they, that they just want to get things going on. Like I said, like I was saying, it will amount to something in the overall story. In this entire thing, she does sing a song, which I'll admit is actually pretty well written. The music is actually not that bad. It's actually really well written, and with a nice tone to it. So this film feels like the music itself actually comes off like it was. It goes along with the story. The uh, beginning part, Act One of the plot, does not feel overly stuffed with music. The first Frozen film. Some people did criticize the film, but the the first act of the first film, anyway. That some people felt that maybe the beginning part of the first film. It may have, it, maybe it was too stuffed with too many songs at once. So I'm guessing they took that as constructive criticism. And, you know, trying to not repeat the same mistake. So, at least right. they're listening on some things people said about it. Introduced to the fact that there's other elements in the, on Earth. So, there's a, now there's a whole mystery. Who could be the other elements? In here, so there has to be a reason that this voice is calling to her. Maybe it has something to do with that, perhaps. So this film does build up to that, but of course, does it gets a bit more serious. That very night, things get really hectic for Arendelle. Because something doesn't seem quite right, so the people were taken out a different area out of Arendelle. Then we are greeted with the trolls that again we saw from the first film and the trolls, the one of them in, anyway, tells them that there's an, it's never a dull moment with Elsa and Anna. There's always seems to be an adventure. So I, I would actually see that. What other things were they up to prior to this point? So I kind of felt like it was a missed opportunity that the film didn't show you know, what they were doing, what kind of strange behaviors or cool adventures that they would have been up to prior to this, but I'm guessing it probably would have just, you know, slowed down the pace of the film, I guess. But, anyway, like I was saying, past is not what it seems. There's more to it, and it seems like some is lying. Again, going into what I said earlier, folks, the whole, you know, sequence where they were little kids, I know that's kind of like repeating information, but to some degree, anyway. But, it's not just a mere setup. It actually has something important for the overall story. Which, of course, lets them go on this adventure. And goes into what I just said a few moments ago, where Kristoff really does attempt to propose to Anna. And, again, he just fails at it. He really just fails at this kind of a thing, because he's not used to doing it. He's really off about it. Written intentionally to be kind of cringy and awkward, but at least on the bright side, they didn't do it in enough to make it like okay, can we get on with it? At least they didn't do it in that manner. So it, it becomes really obvious that, like I just said, Kristoff does not know how to interact with humans, at least not properly anyway. Eventually, they do go through like this shield thing that has been protecting the enchanted forest. And yeah, they do meet up with these these natives, and also those other people that do meet up as well. These soldiers who came out, they were stuck here for quite a while. It does make me wonder what they were doing in in this spare time. You know, kind of like how those characters in Life is Strange, they have their own hobbies, they have their own activities, they have their own things they want to do and whatnot. I, okay, I mean, okay, that was on purpose because they want to do like a slice of life kind of a thing, which I guess is cool. So it does make me wonder, you know, what were they doing exactly in their spare time. So again, this just comes a bit of a missed opportunity to explore that kind of a thing, really. But anyway, of course, Elsa trying to calm everybody down. 
because she knows something's up. At least on the bright side, Elsa is open with the, with the concept of, hey, other people out in the world have different cultures, and we're all born different and whatnot. Everybody have a different skin tone. Everyone has their own thing, you know, in their own society. Well, at least she's open to, you know, she's going to actually learn, at least of that. So, I know that seems like a random detail I'm saying there, folks, but like I said, bigotry does play uh, its own, you know, theme here. Because you should not let fear control you. And yes, allowing fear to control you is actually another theme that is explored in this movie. But... And, yeah, speaking of something being different, this is probably one of the most controversial aspects of the film, because... Why are Elsa speaking to one of the native women about the fifth element and whatnot? A lot of people took this as a sign that it's a confirmation of her being a lesbian, and she wants to hook up with that woman there. Yeah, I found that really odd that a lot of people took that as an indication that... Elsa is, is a lesbian. I mean, okay, first of all, they just met the native people right then and there. And how's it, they can't build up a chemistry that fast. Also, even if she was, who really cares? A lot of the fans, a lot of the fans and religious people have said that. I'm like, talk about building mountains out of molehills. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Either way, whatever. But I swear some people need some people some people do need to get a life here. But anyway, I did enjoy this film, folks. I mean, yeah, there's some complaints I have with this film, but it does more right than wrong. So I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Just one of the few, few, few sequels I did like. I really enjoy. And yeah, I'll say I recommend buying this one, but I would advise not to say make the same mistake like I did. Don't be so impulsive. Don't be so impulsive to um, buying the item because I was doing it like in haste. Because I honest release the on Amazon the the film was selling out pretty quick. I mean, really, really quick. So I kind of just hastily bought it. So ugh. I mean, the price went down. I would post a link down below for, uh, if you want to order at Target or Best Buy. No, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon and Target. I would post both of those links down, down below for Target and Amazon, if you want to get it from there. The price has been lowered to 20 some, or, you know, depending if they change it or not. If you have to wait, then wait, I guess. So, anyway... I know, uh, overall, folks, I can say this was a pretty good film as a whole. I liked it. Like, I really liked the singing. I liked all the songs that, that were done for you. My personal favorite, would have, if anybody's wondering, my personal favorite would have to be Show Yourself. And that, that was really cool. And also, I can say that the animation has greatly improved. The, the wardrobe, the design for the wardrobe for all the characters are really, really nice. And there's so much detail, like, there's so much detail in the clothing, and in the background, and whatnot. There is a lot more I want to bring up, folks. There's a lot. I mean, there's a great deal of stuff I, will, I would love to bring up, but I feel like this review has gone long enough. So, there's plenty of other things I would like to discuss here, but whatever, I guess. So, yeah. This was a pretty big adventure. They're trying to make it seem like... They want to make this actually amount to something. It's not just something they quickly did. Even though I kind of feel like they took quite a while to make this. So, and the... Would they, even, would they it, it be any more? I hope so. But, because the... The director, the people who are behind this film... They stated they wouldn't mind making a third film. But, they just have to find a, a good enough story. For this movie. They have to find a good enough story... For a third installment, so nothing, nothing has been confirmed. Even though this has done pretty well in the box office and at the sales for the Blu-ray and DVD and whatnot, the merchandising has done fairly well. So that's still not enough for a combination, uh, confirmation of a 
third movie. So will it be a third one? I don't know. We're going to see about that. So that's still like a fantasy for the time being anyway. So anyway, folks, like I said, I enjoyed it. I said pick up this version. I said this version gets an overall rating of an 8.3 out of 10. It gets an 8.3 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah.